Hello, my name is John Knight. I am a fish and wildlife biologist and project lead for the Garson Point Aquatic Research Laboratory stationed in Milton, Florida. I think one of the first things that people will ask when they watch this video is where in the world is the Garson Point Aquatic Research Laboratory? The Garson Point Research Laboratory is in the western panhandle just outside of Pensacola, Florida. We're very similar to other freshwater fisheries research programs. We do conduct sport fish monitoring. But our emphasis and sort of our specialty is really on non-game research. Our research primarily evolved into determining conservation status of either rare and imperiled or cryptic species. Today, we've become much more of a population assessment sort of laboratory. For example, a couple years back, we conducted a Harlequin Daughter Research Project where we went in and conducted a population estimate. Habitat and Species Conservation took our research and determined that the species was in fact not as rare as we had anticipated it and I consider it a conservation success story because it was one of the few species that the state of Florida has recently now delisted. Other projects that we currently work on include an occupancy estimate of the state threatened salt marsh top minnow. Uh, we have also conducted population estimates on alligator gar, also been conducting estimates on the state threatened crystal darter species which is uh, what we call a gravel obligate species. And we also do long-term monitoring very similar to the rest of the state. We currently have focused on the Escambia and the Choctahatchee River for our long-term monitoring. The MUSCLE program is also working on a long-term monitoring project to provide additional sampling for freshwater mussels from the Panhandle region of Florida. Finally, one of the additional projects that we started about three years ago was to determine habitat relationships of juvenile gulf sturgeon from Panhandle Rivers. We are in year three of that study. We anticipate uh, the study will continue for an additional three to five years. The diversity that we have at Garson Point is our strength. We not only try to work within our traditional management formats, but we are also trying to address management needs both on the state and federal levels. Garson Point Aquatic Research Lab would not exist in its current status without the diligent effort and hard work of staff. We have a highly diverse group. They are passionate and they are dedicated to the resources here in the state of Florida. I could not imagine 15 years ago that we would ever have grown to where we are today. And the future is sort of an open book based on what our manager's needs are.